Hi students, welcome to Tom Sahab and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will learn about option Greeks, wherein we will learn about uh, what are option Greeks and then we will learn how can we go ahead and create strategies looking at the option Greeks. So the question arises why we should go ahead and understand option Greeks. So the answer to that is very straightforward that uh, options they are sensitive to a lot of variables which is uh, implied volatility, time, uh, rate of interest, and a lot of things, right? Even the speed at which the instrument moves. Uh, so that is the reason we need to understand option Greeks because option Greeks will show us or it will, it, they will tell us that, okay, what component is going to affect our option premium, how much? And, you know, by understanding option Greeks, likely is the chance that if we, uh, if we go ahead and use them systematically, over a long run, we can create strategies looking at Greeks and which can, you know, add and like it would act like an arsenal in our option trading portfolio. So one thing is a lot of option traders out here, they just try to predict where the underlying is going to go, where the instrument is going to go, where is it going to go up or down and, you know, they go ahead and just create a simple trade looking at that. But options, they will give you a leverage Sometimes even if you don't predict where the underlying is going to go, still you can end up making money. So in this video, we will learn some of that. And also, if you talk about option Greeks, if you use them systematically, if you harness them a bit here and there, you know, sometimes you can win more when you're winning and you're on your losing trade. See, in the market, you are going to go wrong sometimes as well, right? But the idea is that can you lose a less when you go wrong and can you win a more? when you win. So that is that is what we will understand in today's video. So let's start this video by knowing first of all what are option Greeks. So let's navigate to option chain and let's simplify one one Greek at a time. Okay. So let's select Nifty. Okay. So I have selected Nifty out here wherein you will get to see all the Greeks which are uh, Delta, Theta, Vega, and the Gamma. Okay. Four of the option Greeks I have plotted over here. Out of which Gamma is a second order derivative. So Delta, Theta, Vega, they are first order Greeks, but Gamma is the higher order Greek. It is the second order derivative, which I'll tell you what the Gamma does and how it works exactly. Okay. So first, let's understand one by one what is Delta. Okay, so Delta, it shows us how much your option premium will move because of one point move in the underlying. So let me take you all to the calculator. So this is concepts option calculator. You can use it to, uh, you know, in the beginning phases to just to know how option pricing behaves. Okay. So let's say I want to calculate an option price based on 10 percentage volatility. Okay. So now it is showing us that, okay, if Nifty is at 18,173 for 25th of January expiry, 18,150 strike price call option, as of uh, today, the evaluation data I have selected is today. According to 10 percentage volatility, my call option would be around 50 rupees and my put option would be around 27 rupees. But what we are here to learn first thing is the delta. So it is 0.59. So it is showing us that if Nifty moves from 18,173.2 to 18,000. 174.2, point, uh, uh, which is one point up move in the uh, Nifty's price from the current level, this option will move up by 60 points, roughly 60 points to be precise, 59 points. Okay. So now let's say if I uh, ask the app what would be the price of this option if Nifty moves up, let's say by 10 points. Okay. So logically, this should go up by somewhere around uh, 6 rupees. Okay. Somewhere around 6 rupees is what the up move should be. Okay. So just check this out. Okay. So let's say 83. How we build strategies on that? I'll tell you that. So see from 50, the option jump to 56.8. So let's make a note of it as we record this together. So first thing that we learn is Delta change in option. Okay. This is change in option due to one point move in the underlying. Okay. That's that from Delta front. Now let's understand how we make most out of it, right? How we make most out of it. So first, first of all, what we can do is 
if you just go to option chain another thing what delta tells you is delta also tells you probability of option expiring in the money so more the probability uh, any option has to expire in the money more higher the delta of that particular option would be so if you just see you can see it visually it is very clear for in the money the delta it is you know higher than 0.5 because the probability of those options expiring in the money is higher for at the money the delta is roughly somewhere around 0.5 uh, almost it would be 0.5 okay and for out of the money the deltas would be smaller than 0.5 okay the reason being because of out of the money options they have a smaller probability or you can call it a lesser probability of expiring in the money that is the reason okay so now how how does it help you as a trader so it helps you in one thing that always whenever you are taking a trade and this is the actionable part always first figure out what is your conviction on a trade theek okay? hai so now let's say i am bullish on nifty but this time my conviction is low or let's say i am bearish on bank nifty but this time my conviction is less so the idea is that you will have a forecast always but sometimes your conviction may be high sometimes your conviction may be low but in both the cases are the both you know does does low conviction mean that you should not trade obviously not using options you can go ahead and trade that right how i will tell you so see there are two types of instances first i am having a very high conviction that okay my trade will work out second i have very low conviction that okay my trade might not work out because maybe one of the indicator that i use with they might not be supporting me okay so in such type of instance what you will do is you will stick ahead okay you will trade that forecast as well okay you will not leave that forecast because there is still a probability of you going right right so why you will go ahead and not trade that so what you will do is you will not go ahead and create a trade randomly at the at the money strike price always start by gauging the conviction first first always try to figure out what is your conviction if your conviction is high you will stick with the at the money strike price so that means you whenever you are winning you are winning 0.5 half a rupees for every one point up move in the underlying but whenever you are losing you are also losing half a rupee for every one point up move or down move in the underlying okay now why not in the money if the conviction is high because you might go wrong as well right sometime so if you go wrong in this trade let's say you bought this 0.76 and uh, bank nifty uh, you know corrects 100 points from the level that you bought so you know this option this option will go down by 76 rupees okay this option will go down by 76 rupees but this will roughly go down by 50 rupees okay so that is the reason so the con conclusion is very simple conviction high atm why not itm if the conviction is high because the chances of your forecast going wrong and you losing a big chunk increases that is the reason stick with the at the money strike price okay even for medium conviction atm okay but low conviction you will select otm okay and the delta would be typically 0.4 2.45 okay or maybe let's make it 0.38 okay 3835 is also okay but 382.45 is the strike price that you will select looking at the delta if your conviction is low and if you are trading directional options coming to the next uh, greek which is theta so the idea of uh, my idea is very simple that i just don't want to explain you what are greek but also to deliver some actionable on that so theta so theta it is simple very lot of you might be familiar with it as well so theta how much premium will be kept due to 1 point due to tk if option is hold for one additional okay simple very straight forward so let's quickly understand it using option calculator so let's go to calculator and one last thing i will tell you when i conclude this is very very important okay but i'll tell you at the end so let's say bank nifty okay so nothing theta is nothing complex so if i just select the expiry for better explanation 
okay so it is calculating that my call premium would be around 27 268 my put would be also roughly is around the same level right 268.74 268.74 but i have evaluated that option as on 24th of jan 2023 i am evaluating it now on 25th of jan okay but now see how much the theta is almost 15 14.9 so this option will get decayed by 14 rupees if I hold it till tomorrow. Okay. So let's say it will be roughly around 254, 253 rupees. Okay. So here I go. Right. If I hold it for one more day, 15 rupees would be decayed from this option. Okay. So just check this out. Okay. Uh, 26. So it would be decayed for one additional day. But so theta is very simple that how much premium will decay if you hold that option for one more day. Okay. So one trick over here is theta decays even when the market is closed. Okay, even on uh, weekends, even on uh, holidays, the theta will decay. So the conclusion is very simple: that avoid buying trades on Friday to carry it on Monday. Okay, that means if you are trading. Uh, if you are buying options, then avoid going ahead and buying options uh, Friday and holding it till Monday. Okay. So that is, the, yeah, you can enter on Friday, exit on Friday, that is fine. But avoid uh, creating a trade on Friday and holding it all the way till Monday because the theta will eat up your premium. Okay. Another aspect of theta is decays fast as we approach expiry highest on expiry date. Okay. So this is another aspect of theta. We all know that theta will decay highest on the expiry date. Okay. So just check this thing out. So this is for 25th of uh, January, which is tomorrow's expiry. 45 uh, rupees is the theta decay for 24th of February. If I just check 2nd of February, I'm sorry. Okay, so if you see it is 22 if i just keep on going forward that means if i just keep on selecting the far of expiries the theta will keep on you know decreasing so uh, it will the, the theta would be smaller the decay will be slower okay so now the conclusion here is the actionable point is if writing theta benefits in closer expires okay so one of the strategies what people use or you know one of the strategies what you can use using this theta ka concept is that buy far month of it okay and sell current month okay or current weekly expiry okay far month let's write it down month slash week okay so you will buy far month uh option and sell the current okay the reason being that the theta for the far month option will decay slower but for the current month or current week it will decay faster okay so it is also known as calendar spread okay you can create calendar spreads the best part about calendar spreads is that it is vega positive strategy which brings us to the last degree which is vega vega is nothing it is but i would say it is not implied volatility a lot of people get confused between vega and implied volatility it is not implied volatility it shows how much implied volatility would affect our option okay it is not implied volatility it shows how much implied volatility would affect our option premium okay so let's check that so let's say calculate it So let's say nifty let me select in of expiry let's say 10 volatility so now this vega okay which is 11.3 11.3 what does it tell it tells us that the current ball which is uh, 10 percentage if the if it goes from 10 to 11 okay this option will go up by 11 rupees roughly and this option will go up by 11 rupees or 11.335 and 11.335 this is what it will do to our option premium so just check okay See, 37, 126 was the previous price. Right now it is 137 and 130. Okay. So, Vega. Okay. 
okay so now one thing is if iv goes up all and put both premium will go up okay reason vega okay and how do you trade vega so you trade vega something when results are around okay before the results the results long vega trades that means you are expecting the iv to go up okay writing in bracket that uh, you are expecting iv to go up okay so the, those are our long vega trades and post results okay short vega trades okay when you are expecting the iv to pull down okay so that means both the call and put premiums will pull down for us okay last greek is gamma okay gamma is speed at which the delta will move Oh, I'll just draw gamma for us, or just try to explain you how it will look like. So let's say the 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 blue line that by I'm drawing is uh, is the delta. So this is how the delta will look. Now the red line what I'm drawing is how the gamma will look. Okay. So now what does it tell? If gamma is spiked up, let's say this is gamma. If this is spiked up, what does it tell us? That this delta. Okay. The delta will move up fast. Okay. Move up or down very very fast. It will basically move fast. Okay, that is what it tells, and due to which the option premium, okay, the option premium would also move very very fast. Okay, so now the delta, the gamma, it is very small figure, but it comes, it becomes very very risky. Okay, risk for option writer because the premiums, it it has the potential that it can move the premium very very fast, like rapidly. Okay. Now, when it wakes up, does it is it active throughout the expiries every time? No, the gamma wakes up, wakes up near expiry, and is highest on the expiry day. Okay. And one thing what I wanted to share before I conclude this video is that that. You know when we talk about option Greeks, the it is all one Greek at a time with other thing remaining constant. Okay, what I mean is the delta effect. If you want to see plain vanilla delta effect, it will it will be applicable only if the other thing remains constant. Okay, like the definition part I am saying. The definitions are with respect to everything in in the market remaining constant. Right? If uh, basically it will work together. But if you understand it, start understanding it one Greek at a time. Okay, so talking about that, and uh, you know we have upcoming event options in Posium. So I would like to invite all of you for that, and don't miss this learning opportunity because over here we will get to learn from ten different experts, or even more than that, we will learn to get their actionable strategies. That is the first thing. Second thing is we will. We will be uh, listening to a uh, learning pad panel discussion amongst the expert veterans. Okay, and also we will get to network with thirty plus distinguished option traders who have been trading in options right almost over a decade. Everybody of them. So it is a great learning and also a networking opportunity wherein you meet uh, the traders out there in the market and understand. What other people are doing and how they are uh, actually doing it successfully. So, option symposium. I would like to invite all of you and don't miss this learning opportunity. It will. It is going to happen on 11th and 12th of Feb, uh, 2023 at the Bombay Stock Exchange, Mumbai. So, the link would be somewhere over here. You can click that link and just navigate to the page. And uh, yes, apart from that, this is uh, uh, this is our cheat sheet for the day. You can. Uh, You know, learn this and try to and start to apply knowledge of option Greeks in your trading. Thank you. Have a great day and happy trading ahead.